right, people. Let's get started, shall we? Class monitor, if you would do the honors. Right. Ready? Why don't I just call roll while you children wear yourselves out? Isogai? Here. What's that? I'm afraid I couldn't make it out over all the gunfire. Here! Okajima? Here! Okada! Here! Kataoka! Here! Kayano? Here! Kentucky! Here! Excellent. All president accounted for. No tardies! Congratulations! <sighs> He's fast. The whole class opened fire, and he doesn't even have a scratch. Yep. We're assassins. And our target... is our teacher. No luck today either, eh? That's really too bad. What's the lesson here? Numbers are no substitute for inventiveness, perhaps? That any hack can point a gun and pull a trigger? Some of column A, some of column B? I get that you're trying to cast the net as widely as possible, so to speak, but the approach lacked originality. When the target clocks at Mach 20, an assassin has to think outside the box. <laughs> right, Mach 20. No freaking way did you dodge that hail of bullets. He's got a point. I mean, these are only BBs, right? For all we know, you just stood there and took them like a champ. <sighs> Collect the ammunition and bring it here. As was explained, these are anti-me BBs. Harmless to you, but... <laughs> Able to split my cells like a knife through warm tofu. Developed by your government for that express purpose. Of course, after a few seconds, I can regenerate good as new. A luxury you won't have if you accidentally shoot your eye out. From now on, no discharging guns in the classroom. Safety first. And good luck killing me before graduation. You're going to need it. Firearms and government issue anti-me BBs away, please. Time to get to work. Kunugigaoka Junior High, Class 3E, the assassination classroom. The bell rings, another day begins. Seishu <laughs> <laughs> する Here's a puzzler for you. Isogai. Uh, sir? Which of these four tentacles is the odd man out? Um, the blue one? Excellent! The boy who is standing employs who as a relative pronoun. A relative hey, Nagisa, pronoun, as you check recall, it out. qualifies the noun immediately preceding it. These handy Chris and Monza, during the day, mean, huh? Which modify a word, phrase, or idea found in How did this happen? Sentence. How did Think we get here? Relative. I mean, as far as I know, it all started with two very big things kicking off third year. First, there was the moon. 
one minute, it's fine. The next, kaboom. Permanent crescent. Uh, we interrupt our currently scheduled program for this breaking news bulletin. This just in. A portion of the moon has been vaporized. Some sources estimate over 70%. I repeat, according what does it mean? Astronomers the world over are struggling to figure out just that. There was that. And then there was him. Hello, how are you? So, I'm the one who blew up the moon? Huh? Next year, I intend to do the same to planet Earth. But never mind that now. I'm going to be your new teacher. Isn't that exciting? There are so many things wrong with this picture. It was a strong first impression. Uh... I'm Karasima. I'm from the Ministry of Defense. What, uh, what I'm about to tell you, we in the business call classified. Uh, aw, hell, I'll just come right out with it. I'm gonna need you to kill this thing for the sake of mankind. Excuse me. No offense. Is this a joke? Because if that's the alien who blew up the moon... <laughs> I am an earthling born and bred! Thank you very much! Uh, okay... I'm not at liberty to discuss the details at this juncture. I'll just say he's telling the truth. His threat is all too real. As of this coming March, he will obliterate the Earth. Apart from you, the only people who know this are world leaders. If word of this leaks out to the public, we'll have widespread panic on our hands. He must be terminated soon and with extreme prejudice. Which means that you must become assassins. Now, you'll notice he's incredibly fast. And for some reason, he likes grooming eyebrows. Immaculately! You're looking at a being so powerful he can obliterate over half the moon in seconds. So fast, he's been clocked at Mach 20. A world where he's allowed to live is a world waiting to be destroyed. Plain and simple. He makes it all sound so grim, doesn't he? Cheer up! I've graciously made your government an offer. Stop making fools of yourselves trying to kill me, I said, and let me teach Class 3E at this illustrious institution. Seriously? We didn't have much of a choice. We have no idea what his motives are, but we agreed on the condition that none of you students would be harmed in any way. The advantage is twofold. On the one hand, we'll know his whereabouts a good portion of every weekday, which is something. On the other, he'll be in close range to 30 people with the means and incentive to kill him. Nakamura! I distinctly remember saying no guns discharging in the classroom! I know. Back row, young lady! Think about what you've done! Mm -hmm. Why would this thing want to be our teacher? And how are we going to assassinate him if the government can't? Those are the questions we should have asked at the start, but I guess we got distracted. Do the deed, and you get 10 billion. It's only fair. Kill him, save the Earth. That doesn't deserve a life on Easy Street. What are we fighting for? He doesn't think you can do it. Use that. Green stripes indicate he's feeling superior. We have some experience with it. Freaky. Truth be told, I'm not worried. The military couldn't kill me. Why would anyone assume students could? After all, you don't even have fighter jets. Hard to keep tidy, fighter jets. What's with the cleaning fetish? It's all on you. Find the cracks in this smug bastard's defenses and exploit them. The weapons you'll be provided are harmless to humans, but extremely fatal to him. And it goes without saying, we'll need to keep this between us. The clock is ticking. Decide whether you'll stand for our home being blasted to space dust. That should just about cover it, I think. What do you say we hit the books and make the final year of your lives a productive one? So that's it. We have a year to live. If we can't find a way to kill our teacher, Earth is gonna be history. Oh, that's lunchtime, everybody. Excuse me while I pop over to China for a quick bite. You have my cell number. Any killers feeling especially trigger-happy today are welcome to hit me up. Okay, math. If he's traveling at Mach 20... It'll take 10 minutes tops to reach his favorite takeout place in Sichuan. So, just to be clear, we've absolutely ruled out missiles? Are you kidding? Even if we had access to that kind of hardware, he can break the sound barrier. While grading! 
My homework even came back with a doodle on it. All things considered, you have to admit he's not doing a bad job. I know, right? He tutored me on algebra, and I killed it on our pop quiz the next day. Yeah, kind of a shame. We get our grades up just in time for the world to end. Well, college wasn't happening either way. Flying super cephalopod bent on world destruction? Check. Impossible target? Check. But he might be the best damn teacher any of us has ever had. Forget that we're all would-be assassins and that most people probably see us as average garden variety third years, at least on the surface. Underneath it all, though, Class 3E has always been different. Yo, Nagisa. <laughs> Look alive, little man. Time to put our money where our mouth is and get this done. So we know the octopus's face changes color depending on what mood he's in. Have you been keeping track like I asked? Give me the specs. You got it. I guess for starters, green stripes mean he feels cocky. So that's something. When we give a wrong answer, his face goes dark purple. When we answer correctly, bright red. What's interesting is every day after lunch, without fail... Blah, blah, whatever. We got more than enough. When his guard's down, that's when we make our move. Well, at least you do. Yeah, about that, I... Don't start! We've been over this! Worried about your transcript? Wake up, dude! We're 3E! Everyone expects us to be thugs and murderers anyway. You know what the E stands for, right? End of the line. Think they shuttle us up this mountain every day for the view? Sorry to burst your bubble, man, but society don't want us. When do nobodies like us have a shot at the kind of cash at stake here? This is our one-way ticket out of the boonies! No guts, no glory. Let this be your moment to shine. Huh? Man up. Go make a name for yourself, huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> Best of luck. Try not to blow it. You hear about Nagisa? They're chucking him to E-Class. <laughs> Shocking. What else were they gonna do? That's one less name in my contacts, I'll tell you that. Yeah. How messed up is it that we even know someone like him? Uh. Uh. Hello there. I'm back. Okay. Hi, sir. So what... what's with the missile? A souvenir from a strike force that tried to bring me down over the Sea of Japan. Must be lonely spending your life in the crosshairs. Quite the opposite, actually. Reminds me of how amazing I am. Now then, inside for fifth period, please. Sure. There's no denying it. He is amazing. Confident, capable. Powerful enough to make people stand up and take notice, even if they are trying to kill him. Everything I'm not, everything I'll never be, no matter how hard I try or how many chances I'm given. Because of you, I received the worst teacher's evaluation of my career, you unteachable brat. As far as I'm concerned, this campus can't eject you fast enough. I can do this. I have an advantage. I'm as invisible to him as I am to everyone else. Doki, Your assignment this afternoon is to compose a short poem. The final line should read, Was tentacles all along? Huh? Excuse me, sir. Really? Really. When you've completed the assignment, kindly bring it forward. You will be graded on creativity, grammar, and overall beauty of expression. Here's an example. Not the storm of garden snow, of flowers moving on, but sprouting there instead was tentacles all along. Yeah, because that makes a whole lot of sense. Sheesh. You may go home once you're finished. What? <gasps> but sir, was tentacles all along? Should get those little synapses sparking and the imagination slithering. <laughs> Could you please knock that off? Um, sir, question. Huh? Of course. Fire away, Kayano. Do we always have to call you, sir? You haven't given us your name, and I think we need one. Uh, I mean, it'd be kind of awkward if we don't call you anything, right? Ah. Well, now... Oversight. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Trouble is, I don't have the sort of name you just give to people. 
why not pick one for me? What could go wrong? Just focus on meter and syntax. Okay. I'll take a short break while you take up your pins. Uh, seems the muse favors Nagisa. <laughs> Every day after lunch, without fail, he gets sleepy. I can tell he checks out when his face turns pink. Kayano's question threw him off. He seems distracted. All signs point to this being the right moment. Prep school flunkies know how to slip between the cracks. It's what we do. Parents and teachers are always yapping at us to apply ourselves. Apply ourselves. What did I say about thinking outside the box? All right, then. Here goes nothing. Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> 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 Never saw a suicide bomber coming, did you? Jurassica! What did you make Nagisa do? What? I'm sorry, you have a better idea? I gave him a modified toy grenade filled with those stupid BBs and a spoonful or two of gunpowder so they'd scatter at a high enough speed. Don't worry, it wasn't enough to kill anybody. I'll pitch in on his medical bills. Huh? Whoa, he doesn't even have a mark on him. And what the hell is this membrane? To the body it's like. not a body, it's a husk. Uh. I shed my skin once a month. I wrapped it around your classmate to protect him from the blast. <clears throat> I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume you didn't see this coming. Uh, uh. Terasuka, <laughs> Yoshida, Muramatsu. Okay, that's a face we haven't seen before. Pitch black must mean pissed. This was your doing, wasn't it? Uh, who? Us? It was all Nagisa. Uh, 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 the name played off my house. Here's the deal, kiddos. The agreement I have with your government forbids me from harming you. But. There's a catch. If you pull another irresponsible stunt like that again, there's nothing that says I can't harm someone else. Family, friends, everyone in the world except for you if I feel like it. Suddenly it's clear how hard this is going to be. We can't run, we can't hide. Slipping between the cracks isn't an option. The only way out is to kill him. Go on! Threaten us! I ain't afraid of no squid! Where do you get off blowing up the moon? We got rights, you know! Call us irresponsible! We're just defending ourselves! Of course! I know that. I'm not calling you irresponsible for trying to kill me. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, Nagisa here gets full marks for technique. His composure was simply outstanding. However, none of you cared if he was injured. Not even Nagisa himself, it seems. Students with that attitude aren't fit to assassinate anyone. You must believe yourself worthy of your target. That means taking pride in what you do, in yourselves and each other. All of you are more than the sum of your parts. Chewed out at Mach 20, reassured by a tentacle wag. It's a bizarre education, but one I think is starting to grow on me. I guess when you spend your whole life being invisible, well, it's something to feel like you're being seen. <laughs> if you... If you could sacrifice a little bit of your time, give the children the tools they need to succeed. Wonderful tentacles. 
With hands like these, you can reach them. I know it in my heart. Here's a puzzler for you, Nagisa. Given that I have no intention of being killed, though of course I have every intention of enjoying our time together before the planet goes kerplooey, what exactly are you going to do about it? Uh, that's the big question, isn't it? It's not like we have a lot of experience figuring out how to save the world. I have a feeling, though. One way or another, we're gonna be fast learners. I think you'll find out I can do plenty, sir. Just you wait and see. <laughs> That's the spirit. No one leaves until I'm vanquished! Way to go, Nagisa! This is totally balls! Yep, we're assassins. Our target is our teacher. Wipe it clean. Man, Wipe it clean. I don't want to be a killer. Uh, we're so screwed. We still don't know his name. How do you say unkillable in Japanese? Korosen huh? Mai? Koro-sensei! Oh, Koro-sensei? Huh? That feels right. Just us and Koro-sensei. Here, in our assassination classroom.